cellular. homology in terms of um, self um, and we can be a little more general than this um, but but let's for, for what cellular means the last time we, we, we said cellular was the following we said so so X cellular um, is um, uh, X equipped with with some cells or with a filtration um, determining cells uh, uh, is X with these opens um, such uh, that the uh, the differences the closed complement of um, I minus one in I is some cells or uh, maybe it just needs to have an appropriate triviality um, property. Um, but let's, let's say this is a B minus I for some, um, for some number BI uh, of uh, cells. And so um, Morel and Savant defined, uh, the, defined C cell um, to be this HI uh, A1, that was the homotopy groups of the motivic localization of what happens when you take the free abelian group on all these simplicial sets of omega i over omega i minus 1. Um, uh, um, with boundary maps coming from long exact sequences and homology. Um, and uh, we saw that these were Tom spaces. They were shifts and they were uh, shifts up um, by the, the, the co-dimension um, I by um, P1 smash I of just um, these A D minus I, and by a theorem of Morel, um, the, uh, this can be identified with K Milner Vit of I, um, uh, B I copies. Um, <laughs> Uh, so, and in particular, if we had a map of these chain complexes, we're getting a bunch of maps from um, uh, Ki Milner Vit to itself. Those happen to be square matrices in GW. Um, so, so that's that's a computable thing. Uh, but uh, uh, a priori, if we wanted a map of complexes, we might think we needed to preserve the filtration. Um, uh, however, if you uh, Morel and Savant, instead of um, uh, instead of characterizing this complex with cells, they give another characterization in terms of the difference um, between uh, derived category, between two categories. Um, so uh, the, the derived category of those strictly A1 invariant sheaves and, and an, an A1 localization of a derived category of sheaves of abelian groups. So let's write down another description of this same uh, um, uh, a cellular complex that gets rid of the cells due to Morel and Savant. Um, so we'll let ABK um, be the abelian category of sheaves of abelian groups, Nisnevich, sheaves of abelian groups on smooth K. K is a perfect field. Um, and inside here, um, uh, Joseph was looking at these strictly A1 invariant sheaves uh, in the sense that, um, so sheaves F 
in the sense that um, the, uh, the ith cohomology for all i um, on x cross a1 for all x is the same as the ith cohomology on x. Um, so, uh, um, uh, the, we can look at the derived category, which is so we've got chain complexes. Uh, of, of elements uh, in HI, and um, we invert uh, maps which induce isomorphisms uh, on, on homotopy of, of chain complexes. Um, and uh, this sits inside uh, uh, an A1 localization of a derived category of uh, abelian K. So, um, a1 of K, um, which is I'm not having luck today. That's okay. It's an A1 localization of uh, of uh, uh, Diab of K. There's some more specifics uh, in the notes. Um, uh, uh, but then for reasons that we're going to uh, discuss in some detail later, um, if we take x and we form the free abelian group on all the simplices of x, so x is a, um, a pre-sheaf of, of spaces or simplicial sets, so we do z of x and we're, we're forming something like the homology and we take the motivic localization so that it's a, a real space, there's a, a canonical map um, to this C cell. And what Morel and Savant show is that um, C cell is characterized Um, as a kind of left adjoint, just on cellular um, varieties. Um, so it's my, um, for any C prime uh, in D of HI, um, the, the Homs uh, um, in D of HI uh, from C star cell to C uh, prime um, uh, are in uh, are, are equivalent to the Homs uh, D A one of K from this object associated more closely associated to X. And then in particular, since this one is functorial, um, so is C cell. Um, and uh, Morel and Savant point out that uh, you can um, make a pro version for formal reasons on non-cellular schemes and make some conjectures about a nice extension of C cell to non-cellular schemes that satisfies um, uh, uh, analogs of, of Poincaré duality with, with orientations. Uh, so I, I'd like to talk about um, joint work in progress with Tom Bachman on this generalization of, of C cell to non-cellular varieties. some sort of no longer cell, but on um, a, a, an analog C star um, for non-cellular um, 
for a non-cellular X um, following Morel Savant and Bandarko. Um, uh, okay, um, so let's let's do uh, some formalism. Um, uh, so uh, we'd like to compare uh, DA1K, um, uh, uh, which is a, a, a category of motives. It's, it's someplace where our, our schemes are living naturally via this construction. Maybe we could, we could study them uh, uh, like that. Um, so let's uh, uh, pick a category um, that we might be interested in. We'll just let um, C um, be something called a presentable A stable infinity category, um, and we'll assume it also has that tensor structure, the um, the symmetric monoidal structure. Um, uh, and this becomes a whole lot more data. The stable infinity category um, is a whole homotopy theory. And instead of just having for every two objects their tensor product, there has to be a whole lot of extra data. And this is literally some sort of map to some sort of thin star. Um, but it's, good, uh, it's, a, it's a fine, in my opinion, uh, um, analogy to just think of it as having that, that same, uh, that same uh, tensor product. And then, OK, so we have. Uh, one of these things, it's a homotopy theory, like maybe the SHK or, the, um, or, or this that we'd like to study. And let's assume that it has um, connective objects and truncated objects, like in Joseph's talk. So it has um, a, a T structure, which is compatible with the tensor product. Um, so, so we can uh, tensor connective objects. Um, uh, and uh, uh, it, um, it, it's, it stays uh, connective. Um, so then we're going to compare this to the derived category of the, the analog of those strictly A1 invariant sheaves. So the, the heart is the intersection. Um, uh, so it's, it's the things concentrated in degree serial. And this gives an abelian category. Um, and the, uh, the aim of part one is to construct or well the actually let's just uh, before we do uh, part one. Let's just call this a generalization. But we're going to do some formalism, but maybe here, let's just say, some, well, it is formalism. Ah, it's fine. Um, I, or generalization. Um, because then before um, making the, the goal of part one, let's, let's say the more general goal, which is the heuristic is we want um, a left adjoint um, to the inclusion um, so the heuristic for making this homology theory. Um, 
is that you can map the derived category of the heart um, into uh, the, um, the original category we were interested in, in making um, a homology theory for, which would live here. And the, the heuristic is to construct a left adjoint So in, in spectra, um, where we get Z modules here, we want for every spectrum or for every space to take it to a chain complex of Z modules like it's singular complex, and that's, that's C star. Um, so it's chain complex. Uh, um, so then, um, are there questions, comments, or corrections so far? Oh, we're gonna construct it. I'm not, a, I mean, we're, we're, I mean, uh, um, you, you can left con extend and, and then it, it always exists and we do. I mean, uh, which may be obvious to the, uh, um, to the well-educated. Um, <laughs> uh, so our, our goal in part one, um, uh, um, is to uh, take uh, this diagram and do what Fabienne is asking us to do, um, uh, which is uh, construct some sort of um, eilenberg maclean uh, functor um, uh, that is lax um, uh, symmetric monoidal. So it's not quite symmetric monoidal. We, we don't have the, the, the K of X tensor Y is K of X tensor K of Y. Um, uh, 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 but again, the, the heuristic um, is that what lacks tensor means is that K of um, X tensor K of Y comes with a canonical map to K of uh, X um, uh, uh, tensor Y, that's not an equivalence, but at least there's a canonical map everywhere. And then because we've got an entire infinity category um, hanging around, this is actually enormously more data. Um, uh, but what we'll do is we'll build a lax structure from other lax structures um, that are uh, around um, uh, and, and, uh, and avoid what the, even what the definition is of all the data going, going on right there. Um, and we want it to preserve uh, finite limits. Um, uh, so, um, I, the, the, uh, the hurdle in, in, in part one is getting enough structure so that that, that functor is, is lax. And we'll start unstably. Yes, please. I hope not. Well, um, so. Well, we have a filtration. Sorry, I mean we we would have a T structure. Uh, well, let's 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 see. I mean the. Um, I guess we're not we're not. We're claiming there's a functor um, uh, asking for X and shifted Homs. Is that asking for equivalence on morphism spaces? Yeah, I think when you much more. I think much more, but okay. So yeah. I, I just like the way it works. Thanks. Right. <laughs> um, uh, no, no, no. I, it's not. Um, the truth is the file um, contains the specific case right away. So, um, uh, I, but I, I did go through last night and I, I believe successfully isolated where the, um, uh, where the actual using SH comes in. Um, uh, that said, I wish I was better educated 
Um, so that, that kind of interruption is, is well taken, but I do think I did this correctly. Um, uh, so that this, this whole first formal part is gonna be formal. Um, uh, uh, so one A is doing this more unstably so that we can get uh, um, a lax structure and still um, understand enough about co-limits and limits and things like that. Um, so instead of left con extending um, right away, uh, uh, because we lost control of, of various co-limits and limits like that, let's first go to, uh, sorry, the positive part, not the unstable part. Um, so let's first do, uh, he's got C hurt going into, um, uh, C hurt. Um, oh, and actually, sorry, we're gonna move from the derived category. So let's let CH of an abelian category be the infinity category um, uh, 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 be the uh, infinity category of chain complexes and chain homotopy equivalences. And then um, we'll look at the, um, the positive part of those uh, chain complexes and send it in uh, to the uh, positive part of C. Um, uh, the, the map from the heart into uh, C um, uh, C or even C greater than or equal to zero um, uh, is right adjoint. To uh, a pi naught functor um, defined generally by taking uh, truncation. Um, uh, so since pi naught uh, preserves is symmetric monoidal, um, uh, that implies on the problem on the problems for the problem session, um, uh, we can check um, that, uh, that then um, this inclusion uh, is lax. Um, uh, so we have a lax functor here and the um, inclusion of the abelian category into the chain complexes is a, um, is a, a tensor functor. And so uh, there, there's something you can do when you have arrows in, in, this, in, in uh, configurations uh, like this. Um, we can take something called a left con extension. Which for an object here looks at all the objects mapping and looks at objects here equipped with a map here, takes these over and takes a big colimit. Um, and with enough colimits in C, um, uh, that's gonna exist. Uh, maybe I should have added that as a hypothesis. Um, uh, uh, and um, because this is lax and this is uh, tensor, uh, this is lax as well. We got this out of a paper of Nikolaus, um, uh, but this, this comes with this lax structure that we were intimidated about building, um, but um, we got it, there's a reference in the, in the notes, um, uh, we got it there by left con extensions work well, um, and, and the other structures that were there. Um, all right, we also wanted to control uh, limits and, and co-limits, uh, so um, there's an alternate description 
uh, of, the, of the chain complexes. Maybe we want bounded chain complexes. Let me see. Yeah, let's, let's go with bounded. Um, and then let's use an alternate description of the bounded chain complexes, which says that, um, that this map is like a Yoneda embedding into a certain category of presheaves. So this one here. Um, and so the, the bounded chain complexes can be replaced um, uh, by presheaves preserving finite products and a, a subcategory of them. So the, these uh, positive chain complexes um, uh, uh, is equivalent to a subcategory of presheaves. So this is inside functors from C op to spaces or con complexes, simplicial sets. Um, and these are the presheaves which preserve um, finite products. Yeah, that, that, um, uh, so that it's also uh, a freely adding um, uh, sifted colimates to C, whereas the, like that one adds all colimates and then um, uh, um, so the uh, um, um, the, the uh, uh, limits should work out better too or something like that. Uh, so then um, uh, I think it's called pre-stable, but there's this, this notion of pre-stable, it's in um, uh, uh, for example, Appendix C of, um, uh, of uh, Lurie's uh, uh, SAG, but it, it's a notion of a positive part of some sort of T structure. So then we'll put in the smallest pre-stable subcategory of this. Um, containing the image of the representables from C, the image of Yoneda in here. And call that P sigma F C. And um, uh, this equivalence we found in a, a paper of um, Vanka Um, uh, Sizinski, uh, Kas uh, Kasprowski, and Wingus, and it allows us to replace um, this here with uh, the Yoneda embedding, and um, that allows, so then, um, And left con extension along uh, the Yoneda embedding is well behaved. I'll put a one categorical version on a problem set. I, I didn't do that yesterday, but I'll, I'll add that in. That would have been a good thing to do. Um, uh, is well behaved in the sense, um, well, um, um, so it uh, preserves limits now 
Um, and in fact, with another argument, using some, uh, uh, using some T structures and saying if you want to preserve fibers, you just have to worry about that piece in, in minus one, um, one can also show that the left con extension preserves um, uh, limits. Um, so then let's stabilize to produce that, the K that we wanted, and it, this is going to be bounded as well. So 1B. Um, so I think it preserves all colimates. Then we showed fibers, so if you preserve, it, and things around are kind of stable. So it definitely preserves colimates and fibers, and I think that should imply uh, um, what was written um, uh, because um, uh, so we want to get um, we want to get all limits from the from the fibers and colimates. Uh, Um, we don't need them all, um, but I wrote down that we have them. Uh, if you want, I'll change this, because I know where to find that in the file. But I mean, I checked last night. I, I did go through this. Um, um, and I can also check after. Um, uh, I, I can show you exactly where this is. Uh, um, uh, okay, so uh, let's stabilize. Uh, LKE, the left con extension to produce K. Um, and so here, let, let's um, talk about stabilization in general. So if we've got a pointed infinity category, which admits finite limits, I mean, remember, Mark, that, like uh, in um, between stable, um, uh, things preserving finite limits and finite colimits are the same, and so then if you've got some sort of product, maybe it's finite. Well, I, I owe you, but um, uh, I, the left con extension along the Yoneda gives control over um, enough limits and colimits that we're going to be able to say that K is going to preserve those finite limits, which we which we will want in a minute. Um, thanks. Um, well, see, it's all representable. You see, but like this is a, um, this is the result there, <clears throat> and you've got uh, representables here. The representables here, uh, they they should all preserve finite products um, uh, because they're mm, they're maps to something. So they um, uh, there's an op in there. What? Sorry. Um, yeah. Thank you. So they're they're all in there, and then we we take. Thanks. Um, uh, let, let's talk about uh, stabilization, which is a, a generally useful uh, tool. Anyway, we can take those spectrum objects of C. And um, and take uh, form by taking a limit. Mm -hmm. uh, finite limits, thank you. Um, and if C has a symmetric monoidal structure, so does uh, SP, uh, C in a, in a canonical way. Um, but there's uh, um, 
Another way to stabilize that works well with duals, which is just by introducing uh, shifts, um, uh, this is the, uh, the Spanier Whitehead uh, category, which is a co-limit. Um, it's like putting an object with some shift in it. Um, so, uh, um, the, if we want to get to all of the bounded complexes from the, uh, uh, the bounded complexes which are greater than or equal to zero, we can take the Spanier Whitehead category. And there's a lot of a lot of work on these. A lot of folks are very interested in stabilizing, and in particular, we've got symmetric monoidal structures on those if we've got symmetric monoidal structures on C. Um, so the, the, the bounded chain complexes on C heart um, is the Spanier Whitehead category of the bounded chain complexes that are also positive uh, in uh, C heart. So we'll get down to, down to there from the Spanier Whitehead category. Um, and we're going to do it uh, by saying that if you map from a stable um, infinited category um, into C, it has to uh, factor through its, its spectrum objects. And the lax monoidal structure comes along for the right. So we, we got this out of the paper of uh, Nicolaus as well, which says that if D is stable, no, you're allowed to shift down because like putting the, this, the Spanier wider category allows you to um, get things in negative. So I, I like this. How do, you, do you not like this? No, I like it. Uh, okay, everything, everything is represented after a finite shift. Right, so if you put C into here, that's like saying that over here it would have been downshifted, so it's right. allowing a formal downshift by... Thanks. Thanks. Um, so if you started with something stable and you mapped in a lax monoidal way to um, C, uh, it, it would factor through the spectrum objects uh, as a lax monoidal functor as well. So it says that if we had a lax monoidal functor from D to C, and it also uh, has to preserve um, finite limits, Uh, then it actually came from a lax, uh, you know, a functor with all those structures making making the lax monoidal um, uh, functor that preserved finite limits from the spectrum objects of D to C. Um, so then we can do this to get that map there. Oh, I'm sorry, spectrum objects of C. Thank you very much. It factors through the, <laughs> this is, yeah, I appreciate that. That's what I meant. Um, uh, so we've got these bounded uh, uh, chain complexes, and um, so we know that this is, uh, SW um, of the bounded below uh, chain complexes. Um, and this 
uh, maps to the uh, spectrum objects on N of these chain complexes. There's a reference in the, in, uh, the notes. And then we could take loops down to N of um, the mm, bounded and bounded below by zero chain complexes. Um, uh, but in fact, the, um, uh, anything that was in the Spanier Whitehead is just a shift of a, of a chain complex. Um, so when it goes down here, it does not go into the end. Um, it just goes in to the, to the chain complexes. And then we had, I just erased it, but we had our left con extension that was um, uh, um, here. Um, so this is a, a right adjoint. Um, this is symmetric monoidal, and it preserves limits. Um, uh, uh, um, the symmetric monoidal structure on end makes this symmetric monoidal and um, makes the, in, including into, into spectra with the infinite suspension spectrum, it also makes this uh, symmetric monoidal. Um, and we know that this is lax. So this whole composite is indeed a lax um, functor preserving finite limits. Um, and this was going to C greater than or equal to zero. So we're, um, uh, we've got a lax symmetric monoidal functor uh, from a stable infinity category. So that result says that it factors Uh, like this, um, and then the spectrum objects of C greater than or equal to zero um, are C, and that's what we wanted. Uh, so then this is lax and um, preserves finite limits. All right, are there, are there questions, comments, or corrections? Right, I mean, that, that's, uh, yeah. The implicit in there was that the, um, the map from spectra to C was this loop to infinity, and it better be lax for that to have, um, but uh, it, was, it was not fair of me to say. Thanks. Um, okay, uh, so um, uh, we can pass to pro. We have this uh, lax functor preserving finite limits, and we can pass to pro categories. These are like um, objects indexed. Um, uh, these are like formal inverse limits. Over filtered indexing sets. So, one, C, is we can take pro of, uh, um, of K uh, from pro of C bounded, oops, bounded chain complexes of C heart um, uh, to pro C. And this is lax uh, and um, uh, preserves all limits. Um, uh, so uh, the adjoint functor theorem says that uh, if you uh, preserve all limits, you're going to have a left adjoint. adjoint, which is like the cellular uh, homology that we wanted to construct 
um, except it's not symmetric monoidal and it's pro. Um, from from now pro C to pro chain comp bounded chain complexes of um, uh, of C heart. Um, ah, and since uh, um, uh, it's left adjoint to a lax functor. The dual of that exercise we were doing uh, in the beginning um, says that this is oplax. Um, uh, the, the, uh, the heuristic for what oplax means is that there's a map um, uh, from C star pro of X tensor Y Not two, C star pro of X tensor C star pro of Y. Um, okay, so that's that's all the formalism, and then let's um, uh, put in the um, the geometry um, from uh, from P one spectrum from from stable A one homotopy theory of Morel and Vavatsky. Um, so it's a theorem of Morel that there's a homotopy T structure on SH, those P1 spectra. T structure um, on SH, K due to Morel. Um, and uh, we were looking at um, these unstable homotopy groups and their stable versions of, of those homotopy groups from uh, Joseph's talk. Um, uh, so let's define uh, pi i for, um, for x and sh of k. Let's uh, define pi i a1 of x um, j to be uh, the Nisnevichification of um, uh, u uh, maps to homotopy classes of maps in sh. So there's already localization going around and computing um, uh, maps in SH of U uh, wedge SI mapping to GM uh, wedge J. That's, that's the, the Jth um, uh, index um, uh, smash X. And uh, then there's a positive part. There's a T structure whose positive part is all of those uh, spectra um, whose negative homotopy groups for I and J anything vanish. A1 XJ equals zero um, for I less than zero and uh, J uh, in um, Z. Uh, so, um, uh, the, um, the negative part is defined uh, similarly, except the vanishing is for um, pi i is greater than zero. Um, and the heart is um, close to those strictly A1 invariant sheaves. It's an abelian category called homotopy modules. Um, so we, we started with these chain complexes and strictly A1 invariant sheaves, and we're getting back to there um, via the formal uh, method with the homotopy T structure. And these can be identified um, 
via a non-trivial identification, but a, a way to uh, think about that would be sequences um, uh, of Fi uh, and um, Ahi, so, uh, um, uh, I equals one, two, three, or we could even go backwards too, uh, uh, such that the, the GM loop space of um, Fi, so there's a, a, a well-behaved minus one construction, which on sections is like a, um, a, a kernel um, uh, from, a, from a map from GM, but it's a mapping space from GM to Fi. This minus one construction is well-behaved, and uh, the, the abelian category of, of homotopy modules can be identified with strictly A1 invariant sheaves um, such that the minus one construction on uh, Fi is Fi minus one. Um, uh, sorry. Um, all right, uh, so then we can, uh, we can plug in the formalism. Uh, we have a, a pro uh, a C star um, from uh, pro SH to pro of um, bounded chain complexes of homotopy modules, and we know it's oplax. Um, uh, preserves colimits um, so uh, in fact uh, uh, the claim is that it commutes with limits but um, uh, let's omit it and uh, if you'd like to see it, um, please ask later. 